Hey everybody, my name is Greg and I'm on the OpenConnect team and first off I want to say congratulations for getting a TP-Link because the more of these types of devices you have to automatically connect your home to OpenConnect, the more you can earn and the more you can save. And so this video here is going to walk you through the first part of connecting your TP-Link to OpenConnect. And this first step includes connecting your TP-Link into the wall and connecting it to your phone's smart app. So let's go do it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take your smartphone and you need to download the app Casa Smart. Casa Smart, it's in both iPhone and Android um, app stores. So download the app. And then once you have, I already downloaded it before here. Once you've downloaded the app, you need to create an account. That's the very first step. And it's a simple email, password, uh, and country. You'll get an email when you create an account um, and you'll be, you'll be in. The reason why you need to create an account versus using their guest option is that you'll need the account in order to do step two, which is connecting your app to Home Connect. So now that you have an app and you have an account ready, you'll see the main devices screen, which you need to add a new device. You're adding a new TP link. And so in the very top right hand corner, there's a plus. So when you click the plus, it asks, what would you like to add? We are adding a device, not a, a group of devices. So when you click on device, it then says, well, what type of device? You can connect cameras, smart plugs, smart lights, smart switches, smart routers, really anything that's smart to this app uh, in the CASA family. But what we're doing here is we're installing a smart plug. So when you choose smart plug, it then says, which is the model that your plug is? Uh, this one here is the top round one. It's the HS100. Uh, and so when I click on that, it now says, great, let's do this. Power on your smart plug. So I'm gonna take my smart plug. I'm going to plug it into the wall. And so when I do that, you'll see instantly uh, the green light turns on, the power light turns on, and now it is uh, starting the initialization process of trying to connect and set up its Wi-Fi network. Because now what it's going to ask me to do is as I click Next on my app, I've now powered it on, it's now going to say, check to see that the light is now flashing from orange to green, the little Wi-Fi thing. That means it is now ready to connect to my phone. So when I, uh, to do connect the connection between my phone and the TP-Link, if you're on an Android phone, this step happens automatically. It automatically sees that there is a new device by a TP-Link name, it connects it, all is good. If you're using an iPhone, you need to actually connect to the Wi-Fi of this TP-Link. So I'm gonna do that right now where I'm gonna go to the settings and in the settings on my list of Wi-Fi options, you'll see a new entry. It's the TP-Link smart plug entry as a Wi-Fi uh, network. So connect to it, which essentially means I'm disconnecting from my local router and I'm connecting to this device directly. And so now that it's connected, I need to go back to the app. And so it now sees, oh, you've now connected to a TP-Link uh, network. And, and so now it's making the bridge. It's now saying the last step is, all right, so now connect this to the local router. So now it gives me the same list of, of routers and I'm gonna select my, our personal one and join it. And now that I've added in the password, it says connecting your smart plug to your home network. So this app essentially is doing the hand handshaking between my device and my home network. And so once it does this, it takes 10, 15 seconds. It'll do this right here live. Um, once it's finished, the last step is naming it. And so it says name your device. And because here I already have one on our fridge, the second one we're gonna to put to our piano here. So I'm naming it piano, uh, save. And then it says add an icon if you want to uh, make it fancier, but I'm just going to keep the default plug icon. And it says, congratulations, your smart plug is ready for use. So now, as you can see in the smart plug list, I have one that says fridge and I have one that says piano. So I can choose to press this button to turn it off and on, or I can use the little icon here in the app that says piano to turn it on and off, on. And so this is step one. The second step of this process is connecting your now smart app, smartphone app to Ohm Connect. There's a video for that. Uh, I hope you enjoy and I hope you continue down the journey of connecting more TP links to Ohm Connect. Cheers.